Hey guys, welcome to another lecture from EcoPoint. Today, let's learn how to use elementary row operations in order to solve a system of equation. So suppose this is what we have to solve. You have the system of equations in front of you. Right here on the screen, what you can see is the three row operations, elementary row operations that we use. Now, with this example, let's understand how to use it. The first thing, convert the system of equations into matrix formulation. So matrix formulation for any system of equations is the augmented system that looks like this, okay? So what we have is, 1, 2, 0 for x. What we have here is 3, 7, 2. The coefficients of y, what we have here is 6, 14, 5. The coefficients associated to z. Now, the augmented system means that we will be taking up the right-hand side as well along with the left-hand side. So, you have a bar here and corresponding right hand side. So 25, 58, 19. This is the matrix formulation that we have for our case. Next, using elementary row operations. So what you try to do here is you try to create an upper triangular matrix and by using the row operations, you are successfully able to do that. So in order to, in order to create a matrix where this becomes zero, this becomes zero, I'm going to use the following row operations. The first row operation is R2 goes to R2 minus twice of R1, which results in 1, 0, 0 and here you will have 3, 6, 25 as it is, 1, 2, 8 and 2, 5, 19 as it is. Next, what you will try to do is to create a zero here. In order to do that, I'm going to use another row operation. And that is R3 goes to R3 minus twice of R2. And that gives us One, three, six, twenty-five as it is, zero, one, two, eight as it is, zero, zero, five minus four gives you one here and three here. Now, how do we get a solution from this reduced system? Now, from this reduced system, Try to translate your last row, which is the most simplified row as, as of now. Try to write it down as an equation. So, so what you have is 1 times z is equal to 3, which means that z turns out to be 3. Now with the help of z, what I can do is I can find out y. If I go back to this, if I go back to the second row, I get... 1 times y plus 2 times z is equal to 8. And that means y is equal to 8 minus 2z, which is 8 minus 6, that is 2. And finally, what you can do is come to the first equation, come to the first row, write it down as an equation x plus 3y plus 6, z is equal to 25. Hence, what you get is that x is equal to 25 minus 3y minus 6 times z, 
which means it is 25 minus what are you getting here is 6 minus 18. So which gives you 1. So this means that the solution to this set of equations is a 3 tuple x, y, z which solves all the three equations at the same time is 1, y turned out to be 2 and z turned out to be 3. This is a unique solution that we have found using elementary row operations.